Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while that I didn't upload any video and I'm here to catch up with you all. So today I'm going to give you a tour of the plants that I have. Hope you will enjoy the video and for those who haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and give me a like if you like the content of this video. So enjoy and keep on watching. So guys, let's start with my corner plant shelf with plants getting indirect bright light from both east and southwest facing windows. Here's one of my first house plants, prayer plant Maranta Loconuera. Place this plant in the topmost part of my shelf where she gets indirect light. She loves distilled water and also moist soil. It has soft and dark greens and a distinctive pink reddish color outlining like veins. This plant is supposed to fold its leaves during the night but mine is different because during nighttime, she's very much upright and awake, and in the morning, that's when she prays. Here's my Podos Enjoy. Love the Podos houseplant, but this guy, I love the variegation and the leaves are hard to break. It's a slow grower, but if you give it a boost of plant food, then she starts uh, growing really quick look at the uh, stems guys it's so thick and i cannot see the soil no more and here's my ficus creeping fig which is variegated i found this plant from a big box store it was really beat up when i found it and i rescued this plant now it's looking good I rooted my Monstera Albo Borsigiana cutting here on this shelf. I just want it rooted here so that it will acclimate quickly and adjust to this environment right here in my living room. This guy is a top cutting and I think it has really a beautiful high variegation. Here's another Podos Enjoy or Pearl and Jade, I'm not so sure, in Lekka. Right next to it is my Piperomia Piccola Banda. Guys, I realize that I like Aglonemas. My red Siam, look at the leaves guys, the red color is so vibrant, contrasting the green color. And you can see yellow speckles all over. And guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I have this other aglonema. It's called the pink Dalmatian. I thought at first it was a sparkling Sarah, but I think it's a pink Dalmatian. I'm now starting to collect plants with pink. It really amazes me how pink goes well with green. And yay, it's giving me a baby leaf. And here's my Prince of Orange philodendron. I really like this guy, but I'm trying to but I'm trying to put it under a grow light because it's slowly growing. When I bought this plant from one of the sellers in one of the plant communities I'm with, it has a slight leaf damage, but I think that can be fixed. Here's my Fetonia albivenis or nerve plant. The leaf has veins that looks like nerve endings. Sometimes this plant is so getting into my nerves because they're so drama queens. They become droopy when thirsty and they require misting and frequent watering. I also have a pink one called Frankie. So next would be my Pink Lady Peperomia. It's my most adorable tiny little baby. I can't wait for her to grow. 
actually they're twins so here's my ficus elastica tiniki it's variegated rubber plant i saw this rubber plant and got it from the local nursery it was really beat up when i saw it and i tried to rescue her and i hope she will try my cute tiny hoya carry eye my zz dwarf plant and this plant the calthea white fusion was giving me a hard time from the very beginning but getting better at this time after bottom watering and using distilled water same with my begonia maculata it's getting better using distilled water and here's what's left of my string of hearts i put it inside a cloche that way there will be enough humidity and it will thrive and i have another one with purplish both of them are on time out because they're not giving their mama happiness at this time so hopefully they'll be good and this one is my elephant bush it's a very resilient plant Keeping it for now and my begonia rex like the red color and the pink tinge and some random plants on the floor duplicates of what I already have. So I have this pink splash syngonium I really like the green and pink speckles and my elephant ears black stem alocasia macroiza i hope this plant doesn't go dormant during winter but it does sometimes the leaves will just droop and a new leaf comes out but i hope it will stay that way because it's better to look at it with leaves upright like it when their leaves drop dead and here's my calthea medallion I like this plant with their big round leaves and really nice uh, leaf pattern and also this rubber plant ficus elastica this plant has been with me for seven years but I only repotted it once that's why it looks like a bonsai instead of growing tall this one is an earth star and I think uh, this is a uh, succulent called aniums but this variegated one with purple variegation I forgot the name so I hope one of you can put it in a common box and this one is my favorite I like this shape of this particular cactus it's called the rickrack zigzag fish bone cactus it's giving new babies it doesn't like to be over watered and i'm using well draining soil for succulents and cacti and it really looks good in this talavera pot it gives it a southwest feel and this is a jade plant and a string of nickels it's giving me a new spike new babies and I think this one is really resilient because I saw one of my friends have it and it's been with her for a long time at their backyard and you know Vegas weather is so so harsh when it's summer here's one uh, begonia maculata I think they call it begonia maculata wig the eye plant by it i call it ruby reds and this one is my heart-shaped leaf philodendron it looks like a micans but this one is just a regular heart-shaped philodendron snake plant sansevieria 
It's my biggest and tallest Sansevieria. And on this area, a shelf, a ladder shelf, I put some random cactus. Uh, it has the spare shape Sansevieria, the starfish Sansevieria, cylindrical Sansevieria. It's giving you babies. And I will propagate these babies. So I will have more. Here are some tiger aloe, aloe vera, another jade plant. And I forgot the name of this one, but it has flowers. This one, the tiger aloe, is really nice in a pineapple pot, but I just placed it in an old pot that I have. This um, jade plant has red tips, but I think they're kind of stressed. That's why it's giving out that red tips. And my aloe vera. At the bottom of the shelf, I just placed some succulents and snake plant that i got from ikea i bought this really nice vintage guardian case that i'm turning into a greenhouse in a few weeks time but for now i just placed plants in there and i'm still planning what to do with it it can be a greenhouse for my rare plants later on but right now, inside it is my African violet plant, Peperomia caparata emerald ripple, my weeping fig, Ficus benjamina variegata. I really like this plant to grow tall like a tree. My neon potos and reverse spider plant, which is giving a lot of babies. Look at these babies, guys. It's a lot. I don't really know if it's okay to leave the babies hanging because I have no plans of propagating them. They're so inexpensive and you can just find this plant uh, in any store, like nursery or big box stores. On my wall, I place some IKEA jute bags and planters where I put these staghorn ferns. By my stairway is the Mini Monstera Rapidora Ditrosperma. And in my mini fountain, you can see some of my Tradiscantias. I placed a mini fountain here so to increase humidity in this area. So this is a uh, lemon lime dracaena, a moses in the cradle, Tradiscantia spathacea, another baby monstera, and my big mama monstera deliciosa. And climbing on a moss pole is my monstera adansunai. If you like to know how I made this moss pole, you can check out my other video. And here down below is my emerald green philodendron. Right by my kitchen counter is a variegated peace lily. I like the variegation. I do have a regular peace lily but I placed it in my bathroom. And here is my bromeliad. This guy didn't give me a flower yet and I'm patiently waiting. Bromeliads are considered air plants and I've seen one with a pink flower. So I hope this one will give me a pink bloom. This one is called African Mask. It's alocasia poly and 
I am trying to put it in Lekka. I hope it will thrive. Here are some random orchids that I want to try out. And here's another Monstera Deliciosa and I'm keeping it for this variegation. And Adresina Marginata. I like the pink tips. And an Alocasia Fredic. It's also called Alocasia Velvet. And some other names. I like this plant so much but there's yellow spots so I think this leaf will die soon. And then this prayer plant, Triostar, I love the leaves, the combination of red, green, and white. And here's my Philippinopsis orchid pole that I made. And I'm gonna have another video for this. So if you are interested to watch, you can check out my video coming up soon. So I got these air plants. This is the Capitata Maroon. I also have a Telancia Red Abdita, which is a red color. I just placed them in this moss pole that I made. It's a decorative moss pole made out of preserved moss. Air here in Las Vegas is so dry, so I miss these air plants on a daily basis. Down below is my pencil cactus, and I also have here another air plant. It's the Telesandia serographica, which I just got from Etsy. And on top of my dining table is another Monstera deliciosa. Uh, which I took out from the mother plant and placed in Lika. Hanging from this branch is my Repsalis sulcata and Hoya Kerii. These hanging plants are in my northwest facing window. Below these hanging plants are my Sansevieria snake plants in potheads face pots that I hand painted myself. Right next to it is my Hindu rope Hoya Compacta and my cylindrical Sansevieria and another jade plant in face pots. By my stairway, you can see on the ledge by my kitchen some trailing hanging plants. By the stairway landing is my tallest plant which is the Dracaena marginata. It has been with me for almost five years and some tiny musa bananas and an elephant ears which is variegated and some of my birds of paradise i actually have three birds of paradise place my arrowhead syngonium on this ledge because it gave me a lot of leaves on this very spot. I also have this Philodendron Brazil, which I like, that has been giving me a lot of leaves. And another Adansonai, a Golden Podos, and my Purple Hearts. Type of plant looks really pretty because they're purple and they grow so fast like weeds and here's my crimson queen hoya carnosa and here's the marble queen podos i really like the variegation of this i'm hoping to have a snow queen and other podos or syndapsus 
Oh guys, the variegation looks so pretty. This variegated elephant bush, I can't let this go because it's one of my first plants and this is really very resilient. Even with neglect, it thrives. So it likes a uh, bright light even with full sun. And this one is a uh, string of raindrops. I'm just trying out this plant because my string of pearls didn't thrive and I'm hoping this one will thrive. And my maiden fern, also one of my oldest plants when I started my plant journey. Here is another Monstera adansoni. It's already very long, climbing and trailing. But I'm putting it in an area of the house where it can climb up. I just don't know how far it would go because i don't have the tallest ladder that i can clip it on the wall so this is how i want it to be i want it to go up there to the top of the ceiling <music> 